guess, how are you doing? Um, how's your family doing? Um, you heard anything about your house or your apartment or anything like that? Yeah, you know, we're doing all right. Um, got the wife out here, got our dogs out here. Um, everyone's safe. All of our friends are safe. Our house is doing okay. We really just lost a few shingles, I think. Um, you know, our landlord's going to check on it later today and we'll find out more from there. I guess, what has this process been like for you? Um, you know, because just so much has changed within the last four days or so. Yeah, I mean, it's been, it's been hectic, but everything's been taken care of. Um, I can't imagine people, uh, I can't imagine the people that actually had to um, find their own way out and find their own resources to kind of get their life together and in order. Um, so, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and act like things have just been terrible because I can't imagine how it's been for everybody else. Nick Underhill? Eric, what's the advantage just to have the quarterback competition uh, over and just be able to settle in with one guy and start to build that chemistry and familiarity? Yeah, um, I'll just preface it by saying that I, I thoroughly enjoyed working with both, that, both guys throughout camp. Um, you know, they both brought a lot of energy and a lot of passion every day, but I think it's nice to get in with one person um, and just really hone in on what we can do protection-wise, um, my identifications um, and stuff like that, and just so we're really on the same page. Does, does any of that, sorry, that, does any of that change from, from guy to guy with the protections, identifications? Like, is there different things that each guy does or that would maybe affect how you do that? Not really, just the communication and how they get it done. Um, you know, just different, not terminology, but just different ways of getting it done. Um, yeah. Luke Johnson? Hey, Eric, what's kind of the way you, you're looking at this uh, with, with the, you know, having to, to basically kind of evacuate to, to do practice. Like, is it like a, like nice to have something to, to focus on uh, or, or is it kind of hard to focus? Like how, how do you do that? Yeah, I think um, it really just gives us an opportunity to lock in as a team um, and come together even more. We know how resilient the city has been. So why can't we be the same way? Um, you know, being away from our home base is going to be different for sure. Um, but I think we're up for the task. I think we're able to able to adjust, um, and yeah. Is this anything at all? Like, uh, I guess it was. Uh, I guess it was your rookie season when uh, when when Drew got hurt out in LA, and you guys were all kind of together out in Seattle. Is it, is it, yeah, I would say it's a pretty okay. similar situation. Just you know, going out and facing a different adversity, but adversity nonetheless. Um, and just personally for me, it's it's a really good situation because it's a good situation because it's just the place I'm so familiar with. Like this is where I spend my off seasons. I have family out here. Um, and, you know, I just I feel comfortable in this place. I mean, I can't speak for everyone else, but I think we have a really good situation set up down here. John DeShazer. Eric, you guys get a chance to see uh, Marquez up and up close and personal a lot more than than we do. What does he add to this team? Standpoint. Oh man, Marquez is one of the happiest guys I know. Um, anytime you see him, he's he's walking around the locker room with a smile on his face in the lunchroom. Um, I feel like he just really has a grateful attitude to, to be here um, and be able to play the way that he's been playing. Something that we all kind of look up to, even as a young player. Nick Underhill. Just, just to follow up to the question before uh, the communication and that with the the quarterbacks and it being different. Is there an example of like how that might change? From guy to guy, just like so we get a grip of, of how that might work. Yeah, yeah. So just like my identifications wise, like, you know, Jameis likes to use like crack and blow or like things like that, crack, blow, rip, liz. Whereas um, you know, Jameis more likes I not Jameis, Jason likes to give like the number and the side that he's on. So it'd be like Mike blank to the right or something like that. Um, and it's just something that it seems small, but it's a detail that has to be paid attention to. Jeff Noah. <laughs> hey, Eric. Uh, so, you know, this situation obviously is is suboptimal in terms of getting ready for the season. But, you know, is the silver lining of this, you know, is it an opportunity for this team to really kind of come together in a way that just wouldn't be able to happen um, in other circumstances as you head into this season with all these unknowns swirling around? Yeah, I think so. Like I said earlier, I think it gives us a good chance to um, really just come together and unify. Um, I mean, normally when we're back, 
in New Orleans, like guys are at the facility and they go home, but now we're all to, we're together pretty much all day. You know, we're going to eat together. And I feel like this gives us a chance to build even more team chemistry. Jeff Duncan. Hey, uh, Eric, I'm just curious what you're hearing about the opener against the Packers. And it, it sounds like that's a very fluid situation from a player's standpoint. Um, how do you how do you look at that the disappointment maybe of not being able to play in front of your home fans in the opener? Yeah, I mean, of course it's not the optimal situation, but regardless, um, we have to go out and perform. We have to go out um, and be ready to play and compete because we know it's going to be a, a grinder game. Amy, just yeah, how. I know football seasons are always fluid, but how, you know, hard is that just to, you know, try to prepare, but you don't know where you're going to play yet. And, you know, up until, you know, a couple of hours ago, you didn't know where you're going to practice yet and all of that fluidity. Yeah, I would just say that uh, we have to be able to adjust. Um, plain and simple, whether we're playing here, whether we're playing in New Orleans, whether we're playing in Florida, wherever we are, we have to be able to just be able to go on the fly and just, you know, prepare, prepare like we're supposed to. Um, because Green Bay is not going to come in and care that we've been on the road. They're not going to come in and care where we're playing. They're just going to be out there. We're playing the Saints. So we have to have that same mindset. 